Okay, first we'll calculate LM, okay? LM, L and M. X2 minus X1. Y2 minus Y1. Minus 3 minus 2. Minus 11 the old square. Plus minus 7 the old square. Okay, so this is the LM. Keep it like this. Now let us calculate M and N. Okay. Okay, now let's calculate for M and So that will become minus 6 plus 5 the whole square plus 8 plus 3 the whole square. It will become minus 1 the whole square plus 11 the whole square. That is 1 plus 121. That is 122. So that is M. Okay. Now let us calculate for L and M. It will become minus 6 minus 6 the whole square plus 8 minus 4 the whole square minus 12 the whole square plus 4 the whole square. So that will become 144 plus 16. Okay, that we added 144 16. So that will become root 160. Therefore, L is equal to root 160. Okay. Now we can write it root seven one seventy plus root is greater than root one seventy. Therefore L N plus M N is greater than L. M. Similarly, we can write root 170 plus root 160 is greater than root 122. So that is LM plus this is LN is greater than M. And similarly, we can add this root 122 plus root 160 is greater than 170. Okay. So therefore, Mn plus Ln is greater than Ln. Therefore, they form a triangle. Okay. Because side 1 plus side 2 greater than side 3. Okay, and Lm is not equal to Ln, that is not equal to Mn, therefore scaling triangle. Okay, I hope you got this. Next we will do another problem. Ninth problem is very easy. You know the formula, right? Slope of PQ is equal to y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Take it as x1, y1, x2, y2. And slope is given. So 1 by 2 is equal to y2 
k minus of minus 3 4 minus of minus 12 so 1 by 2 is equal to k plus 3 4 plus 12 so 1 by 2 is equal to k plus 3 upon 16 16 will go here 16 upon 2 is equal to k plus 3 into 8 okay 8 is equal to k plus 3 therefore k is equal to 8 minus 3 k is equal to 5 okay i hope you got the next video 10th problem the 10th problem we have to show the line joining points is parallel okay. very simple take slope of a b okay So that is nothing but this 5 minus 8, 5 minus 4. So minus 3 upon 1. So that is equal to minus 3. So that is equal to 7 minus 4. 1 minus 2, 3 upon minus 1, that is equal to minus 3. Both are equal. Slope of AB is equal to slope of CD. Therefore, AB parallel to CD. Okay, next we do learn problems.